Watch Show 2015. I'm in the Integrated Chassis Solutions booth. Uh, I was walking across the skywalk coming in here the other day. I see this boom going up into the sky like a couple hundred feet, and I'm like, what in Sam heck is this thing? I track down Jason. Jason, what is that thing out there? It's a, uh, it's a very long extension hose, so uh, we can reach 128 feet. Um, on top of roofs and refineries, compressor stations, wherever, basically. So generally the applications are for, are for going up, or can you also use that for going deep? Going down as far as you want to. Um, we can go down 86 feet um, and, and some hose on top of that too. So if you got to suck from really, uh, really far down and inside sewers or underneath the grade, pretty simple. Pretty darn cool machine. Now, since you've got the boom on it, that kind of takes away the ability to be able to put like a vacuum tank on it. So how are you handling the, the waste? So Model 1 uh, hooks up to a HydroVac and we use the debris tank on the, on the HydroVac unit itself. So tell me a little bit more about your Model 2 machine. So Model 2 is a uh, kind of all-in-one standalone unit. It's got the HydroVac package, the water tank, and the boom all-in-one chassis. And then it uh, pulls a debris tank along with it. So uh, theoretically you could take that to location, set up, and start digging and, and never stop and the uh, a cheaper truck and cycle in those debris tanks. Okay if we go back to the Model 1 that's the one without the tank built in um, any standard vacuum truck you can hook up to that or does it have to be something you know we, we require a uh, 5,000 SCFM positive displacement blower. That's okay, all we require. It really just comes down to what, uh, how big is your blower. So could you hook it up to a vacuum trailer, for example? If they have a, uh, a big enough blower like it is, you know, but usually any HydroVac will have those minimum requirements. Um, so getting back to that boom, that's just not something you can just pull out of an engineering drawing and hope like hell it works, right? right. So right. you got together with, I think it's Schwing out of Minnesota, is that right? You guys worked together? Yep, yep. We, uh, we went to the, the best boom manufacturer in the world back in May of last year and said, hey, you're pumping concrete with all this stuff. We want to suck with it. May of last year, that's a quick project turnaround in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, According to my boss, it's not a quick turnaround time, but uh, but uh, yeah, we uh, we did all the design and engineering work on it and uh, and got it turned around and uh, just got this done uh, three or four weeks ago. So, Jason, it's a crazy truck. Um, anybody who saw it at the show here would agree. When you look up at that thing, you realize it's a machine that's capable of doing some work. Uh, you guys should be super proud of it. Uh, so thanks for showing it off at Wet Show 2015.